Hello and welcome to Discus Basics for High School Students. As a high school student, you probably have a, quite a variety of information that you're looking for for your various projects and assignments. You might be looking for background information on a topic. Uh, we're trying to understand a Shakespeare play. Perhaps you want to practice taking the SAT or ACT exam. Your teacher may have required you to find a scholarly article with full source citation information. Or maybe you're just trying to understand a new concept in chemistry or physics. Discus can help. Discus can save you time and also help you to have good, strong, reliable sources of information. What is Discus? Discus is South Carolina's virtual library. This consists of a collection of online databases found at scdiscus.org. There are over 50 information databases and resources. About 30 of those are relevant to the high school level. You will find reliable sources with source information. So if you go out on the general web or Google and you find some uh, good information, but you can't figure out what it is when it was published, who was responsible for it, then it starts becoming questionable as to whether or not it is a credible source. But within Discus, you have published reliable, credible sources together with the source citation information. You have no textual ads or video ads to wait to play wait before you can actually view a video. You have free access 24 hours a day, seven days a week from your school, home, mobile device, or the public library for all South Carolina residents. And it's provided as a service of the South Carolina State Library housed in downtown Columbia. So what types of information are found in Discus? As you're working through your projects and assignments, you will find reference books, scholarly articles, ebooks, videos, images, articles from books, magazines, newspapers, skill builders, primary sources, and practice tests. You may be asking, do I need a username and password to access Discus? At home or when you're using a laptop or a mobile device, you may be prompted to enter a username and password. You can ask your teacher, librarian, or media specialist for the current username and password if you need to fill in the screen. How do I access Discus? All you need to do is go out to scdiscus.org, hover over to the grade level, and choose high school. High school Discus resources are listed here. As you can see, there's a, quite a variety in subjects and content from Academic Search Premier, where you will find scholarly journals, Bloom's literature for your English literature, Credo reference, culture grams for geography. So I encourage you to explore uh, the various databases and just get familiar with them. Obviously, we can't cover them all in this one short video, but we're going to cover these four key databases that are commonly used. Learning Express Library, Opposing Viewpoints in Context, Bloom's Literature, and Credo Reference. We'll also take a look at Smart Search by Discus. So let's get started. Let's go first to Learning Express Library. You can brush up on your high school math and English skills, and you can also take practice tests for the SAT, ACT, and advanced placement exams. There are several other centers in addition to these that we will cover, but these are the ones that are good for a good basic overview for high school students. So when you first go into Learning Express Library, you'll need to register for your own account at the, in the top blue navigation bar. This is very important because in order to access the practice tests, tutorials, and ebooks, you need your own account. And we'll, that will become more clear here in a moment. But if you click on one of the SAT tests and you get this sign in or register that you see at the bottom, then you're going to remember that you needed to sign in. 
The school center, as you see here on the left, is uh, you would choose high school and you will be able to practice your mathematics skills or your English language arts skills. There are tutorials, ebooks, and uh, lots of practice on writing, literature, reading, vocabulary, and other content. The other piece uh, that the students really love is the uh, practice for SAT and ACT. So you can prepare for your ACT test, your SAT, using this software. You would simply go to the College Admissions Test Preparation Center and select a test that you would like to take. Notice here on the right you have different modes in which to choose to take your test. So you can take it more than one time and it's highly recommended. If you're just studying for instance for the SAT math piece, you can go in as a learner and view the answers to each question as you go along. You can take the practice test that's going to time you and allow you to see the answers afterwards. Or you could take the actual simulation test that will be much like what you will find when you take the, the um, authentic test and it will stop when the timer is up but it will not provide answers. So it's always great to start out with learner mode because you would be able to check your answers as you go for instance with this math problems here when you get an answer wrong they'll actually explain to you how to um, go about finding the correct answer and that's a really important uh, learning piece for you there. One of the other reasons that you need your own personal account is the My Center in your account of Learning Express Library will allow you to easily access tests that you've taken, some you have in progress, some you've completed, tutorials that you're in progress or have completed, and then any ebooks that you've recently viewed. This will save you a lot of time in finding the resources again. Um, let's say if you found them at school and now you're at home and you'd like to get back to them, or if you started a test but you'd like to go back and finish it. So that's Learning Express Library. You can also download your center that will uh, download all the scores for your test that you've taken and the list of ebooks that you've used. Okay, let's move to our next resource. And what resource in Discus will help me when I need information on current issues for writing or debate? One of the best is Galen Context Opposing Viewpoints. We have some other resources, you're welcome to view those as well, but the Galen Contents Opposing Viewpoints actually provides a, a great subject list of issues for you in the Browse Issues section. You can see the headers of energy, health, science, etc., and then you have subheadings underneath those. Notice on the bottom right, there are over 475 issues from which you can choose. Um, for a debate or for a pro-con paper. And you can see here the national debate topics are available here on the left. And if I scroll through this list and choose, uh, I can go in and choose self-driving cars as my topic, you're going to get a topic overview for any of those hundreds of topics or issues. And it's going to give you um, some good background information on your topic in addition to highlighting some of the pros and cons, uh, the for and against sides of the issue so that you can really wrap your head around uh, so some of the major um, issues within that topic. Notice you also get a variety of information on your topic. So if your teacher has asked you to pull a, a video, an image, or an infographic, um, an academic journal article. You have all of these different types of information in one spot and it makes it very easy for you to clearly see what type of information you're, you're uh, viewing. So if I were to go through here, you'll see these are the different buckets for the reference, the images, the infographics, etc. And it tells you how many are there, seven videos, 63 audio files. 
uh, magazine articles, there are 69, and there are 25 academic journal articles. So you can see the way this is so well organized, it can save you time to locate your information uh, using the Discus resources as compared to Googling or going out on the open web. And it's easy to cite your source. So once you pull an article such as this one, driverless cars, don't count on it, all you'll need to do is go to the top bar and, high, and click on your cite icon. And that's going to open up uh, the citation that goes along with this source so that you are able to document if you have quoted a part of the article or if you've referenced part of the article. Um, it's very easy to cite. So let's move to our next uh, resource that we want to highlight today. Let's say you're studying a literary work. Maybe you're looking, reading a short story in class or maybe you're reading a play and you're studying a literary work and you need the full text of a Shakespeare play. Or let's say you need a critical essay on the novel Animal Farm. What if you need a theme idea for a literary essay or information about an author? If you need any of this information, you need Bloom's Literature. Bloom's Literature is uh, listed in your list of databases that I showed you at the beginning. And this one is going to give you information about authors, their works, their characters you see there on the left. The resources section will give you literary classics full text so you can get entire novels, entire plays, entire poems. You can uh, find out information about literary movements and themes that you see here. So if I were to click on works under this piece, you'll see some of the most commonly read works, Animal Farm, Awakening, Beloved, The Color Purple. Frankenstein, The Great Gatsby, and when you click on this one, let's say you click on Animal Farm, um, let's show you what you will find all in one place. So if we look at Animal Farm, notice we have several different types of information related to Animal Farm here. You see in the red box, uh, reference source information, criticism, character list so if you're reading the book and you're trying to get wrap your head around the characters you'll find a character list images related to it and then if there's a video available you can click on any of those links uh, to get information articles and video information so let's say we click on this uh, article called revolution on animal farm Orwell's Neglected Commentary. If you decide that you want to cite, uh, perhaps quote um, a sentence here in your paper or you want to um, refer to this in a paper that you write, all you need to do to cite it is click on citation and you'll be able to get again that citation information and that saves you so much time when you're doing your research. You know this is a reliable published source and you also have the proper information to cite it. So that is the Bloom's Literature platform. There is also an excellent center inside Bloom's Literature for those of you in high school who will be studying a Shakespeare play, Macbeth, Hamlet, Othello, or others. The Shakespeare Center is here to help you. It is a multimedia guide to all of William Shakespeare's plays and poems. You will find performance videos, criticism, articles, research and writing advice, um, and other material uh, that covers life of Shakespeare and his times and his theater. So if you look at the list of uh, Shakespeare's plays here, starting with All's Well That Ends Well, they will be in alphabetical order, so you can certainly find Macbeth or Othello. When you click on one of the plays that are listed in the list, let's just look at Othello, 
all of these blue highlighted pieces are actually hyperlinks so you are able to click the link and quickly look at key passages from Othello difficult passages perhaps you're required to find a critical essay or article about the play you can click on that link to find those you're also able uh, to pull again the full text of the work and if the video performance is available that is also right at your fingertips The last one that we'll look at uh, before we go to Smart Search is Credo Reference. And this source is actually very good for you if you just need background information. Maybe you're, you're learning a new concept. Maybe you need to kind of unwrap DNA as we have here. We searched for deoxyribonucleic acid. Um, and if you notice in the middle, we have a very good article from a reference work. And to your right, we have a mind map tool that actually breaks out other concepts related to DNA, RNA, genomes, transcription related to DNA, chromosomes, genetics. And each time you click on any one of those concepts, you will get articles that are related to that aspect of it. There are also, in addition to your articles, you'll find videos and images, as you see here. So this applies for other topics. Perhaps you've heard about communism, but you're not really clear on what the system is and, and what is involved. Um, you do have an overview article here in the center, but notice again, all of your uh, key players, uh, Karl Marx, Mao Zedong, the Communist Party, uh, Frederick Engels. So we have key uh, people that have either contributed to it or sometimes contrast it. But you have socialism, Marxism, capitalism here on the right. And sometimes you'll actually have places that are relevant to your concepts, such as Soviet Union here. If I wanted to uh, go in and actually use this source, once again, I can see clearly that it was published in the Companion to International Relations there. Um, so I don't have to question whether or not this is a reliable source. And then I can just click on my citation and once again easily pull up the citation to this article. Notice this one is in APA format. If you're required to use MLA, you can click on MLA to get that one. So those are four uh, quick resources that are commonly used by high school students uh, from our platform. Let's look at one more tool that can be of very good use to you, whether you're searching for information for a science class or an English class. Where do you go when you want to locate sources from several databases in one search? I bet you say you're going to Google it. I bet you say you're going to go out to the open web. And that is fine. However, you will find um, here that you you do have a, once again reliable information and it's just well organized if we go out to smart search smart search by discus will allow you to search across multiple databases at once so you could be searching bloom's literature and opposing viewpoints and other databases all with one search let's take a topic here Let's uh, search on climate change in Smart Search. Our result list shows that uh, we have quite a number of results. But the nice thing is, if you look to the left of your results, you see you have an ebook, a periodical. If there is an academic uh, article, it'll tell you that. Um, you can see that this first one, the Start Your Research, Research Starter, is going to be an overview like, uh, like we showed you in the Credo Reference, for instance, if you need to really understand your topic. But if your teacher said, I really want you to use an ebook and a magazine and a video, this is going to be a great place to go because notice the first one here, Climate Change, Our Warming Earth, comes from an ebook collection. And the second one actually comes from Business Source Premier, which is another database, and it's a periodical. So if you wanted to use uh, some information from the War Against Climate Change, and you click on that article, you'll see you get the full text of the article. It's either going to be in a PDF format 
or an HTML format. Notice you have the uh, opportunity to save it to your Google Drive and once again to get that important source citation. It's very difficult to find uh, this kind of information out on the open internet uh, the, for which you do not have to pay an additional fee to get the entire articles. Um, so that's another bonus of using your Discus resources in high school. So if we click on the source citation, you'll see we have the MLA uh, to easily cite the periodical from which this article was published. So let's review. It's your turn. Where would I find an SAT or ACT practice test? You can see the answer choices to the right just to refresh your memory. What about a Shakespeare Center? And if I wanted to use a mind map tool to break a topic into concepts and link to reference articles, which database would I choose? Or what about an interface to search multiple databases at one time? And what if I'm looking for a critical analysis of the Great Gatsby? And if I need information for a debate or a pro-con essay, what's a good source? If these were your answers, you're right. And you can go forth and use these databases uh, to help you easily find and document sources for your projects and assignments. So when you need information for an assignment or project, Think discus.